everyone welcome back to the channel and yeah it's been a long time so it must be over a year if not longer since I last posted uh, a video and I kind of felt that before this video starts I owe you guys an explanation so in 2022 I think it was I started doing rebuilds buying vehicles rebuilding them putting them back on the road giving them a new lease of life and I really enjoyed it but in the background there was um, other issues going on uh, and they around, were around uh, my business Petrohead Detailing. We never fully recovered from the Covid closure, from all the issues around Covid, people's spending changed and we just couldn't get the work. So unfortunately in March 2023 with a heavy heart I had to close that business down. And it's now taken until January 2024 for me to get to the stage where I'm now in a position financially, I suppose we should just um, clarify that. But now financially, I'm actually able to start doing the rebuilds again. And I really missed it. I love doing the content. I love doing the editing. Yeah, it takes ages, but <laughs> some sick part of me really enjoys that. So um, hopefully you enjoy the video that's coming up. I just felt that it was needed to do that explanation. Um, any of you who follow the channel will have seen the last video. I think it was on the Renault Clio. Well, that Clio got fixed, put back together and was bought by somebody who unfortunately then was rear-ended on a parkway and that car was written off again so maybe that one wasn't destined to go back on the road but anyway enough waffle hope you enjoyed the video i'm trying to include my family in all the videos as i do forwards because because at the end of the day without them um, I wouldn't be in a happy place um, after everything that's happened with the business so if you do enjoy the video please massive appreciation will be to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and let's see how we get on with this one enjoy okay so let's have a look at what we've bought we're going to start off with the interior we've got a rather nice chunky steering wheel here so this is a Bath 500 but it actually has something on it that I didn't realize now we've got an upgraded Pioneer head unit here um, air conditioning five-speed box uh, wing mirror on the passenger seat and generally quite a lot of glass all over the floor um, so when I bought this I'll turn the camera around when I bought this um, I literally bid on it as a standard uh, above 500 um, but on the day that it was due to be collected I just I noticed something on one of the photos and I'll show you what that is on the back of the car I noticed this so this SSSS so apparently it's an SS edition so what happened was you bought yourself a standard uh, bar 500 and when it got to the dealership they put the SS kit on it now for what I paid for this car and I will reveal what I paid for this car in a little bit for what I paid for this car to then have that on it and it not be in the listing I've actually got myself quite a big bargain here because when I reveal the numbers you'll see where um, where I've actually lucked out quite significantly so the car got dropped off last night um, luckily because the window was put through when we went through the boot we found uh, a custom car cover for it um, the other thing and I'll clip a photo up in the corner in a second this tyre did not look like that basically um, there was some tyre on the rim and the rest of it was all completely blown out so first thing this morning um, I had that uh, I took that over to one of our tyre fitters uh, and they've put a new tyre on it so I could actually make sure that if we do get it running we can uh, basically move it back and forth but yeah that was fun getting it off the loader because we had to basically put a skate underneath this wheel and then kind of yeet it into place um, so we'll have a walk around now and just have a look at general things so as you can see it has had tape um, over here with the plastic to protect the interior so that's a good sign because the last time that this car um, had any MOT on it it ran out in February 2023 so that's uh, like just under a year ago before it got to Copart so I can only assume because it says Socco on the front of it this has been sat in a police compound for some time it is well and truly filthy and I mean 
really filthy but if we can get this cleaned up there is a really nice and i know you shouldn't rub dirt on paintwork don't worry i'm going to polish it um there's a really nice pearl i don't know if you can see that there's a really nice pearl paint underneath there so we've got obviously a bath badges all the way around but when this had the ss kit now let me go into that a little bit more detail you got a load of upgrades so your wheels got upgraded to 17s and they are brembo ultralight wheels i believe um you got the red leather seat interior as an upgrade you got some SSSSSSS badges and a whole raft of other stuff. So I've got a list of all the components that they fitted onto this car as part of that kit, including the book pack, which was hidden in the boot, which we couldn't open, so I had to climb through. Um, the book pack was in the boot. It's got full service history, and I mean a lot of service history because it's had cam belt done, and this has been serviced sort of every, I think over the course of the last sort of five six years it's been serviced every sort of three thousand miles so it's really been well looked after um ng bay we'll come back to in a second i do find though when you tend to buy cars and you find that somebody spent the money on decent windscreen wipers that tends to mean it's been looked after quite well rather than just kind of being cheaped out we've got lack of peel on this wing mirror which is annoying because this is the wing mirror without any damage and there's no lack of peel on the other one so i will have to get this resprayed I noticed today there is a little dent here on the top and there's one on the other side as well and on the bonnet we've got kind of like a, a an elongated dent there and I don't know if that's gone through the paint I'm hoping it hasn't so I can kind of get a PDR on that uh, so that's paintless dent repair for anyone who doesn't know and then just kind of polish it over but yeah other than that I think it looks pretty smart so I think that's a good work ground. I think what we'll do now, um, gonna get that wing mirror off the remainder of it. And I think I'm gonna fit the window because I won't run out of uh, daylight then. And then after that, we should have the guy coming to do the keys. And if he can get the key sorted out, then we'll find out if this thing actually starts. The key, the barrel is actually in place, but it is broken. Um, but we have got the ring there which is complete which is ideal because without that it won't uh, Register any of the keys and it will not start so this came with no keys just if I haven't said it already um, It came with no keys and the barrel's been broken. So um, yeah, we'll see what the key guy can do with that and we'll go from there Actually on second thoughts as soon as I open the door I'm gonna tackle all of this first and get rid of most of this glass. Let's go get a hoover much better does that look so I'm only just giving it a quick hoover but like the mats in the back um, I put two of them down there because the back of them was wet so I'm, there's obviously moisture here in the carpet and in the front from where the window's been smashed but that's to be expected but there's no mold which is quite a good thing but I've got some special enzyme inhibitor I can spray onto this so it sort of stop any mold from trying to develop so we'll do that before we lock up the car tonight in the boot Basically, if you need to get in the boot, by the way, and you've got no power, down, no, up here, sorry, on the latch, you'll notice there's a little tab. I don't know if that's focusing or if it's focusing on the house. Uh, let's try it this way around. Right, so there's this little, little tab here. You just push that, it basically releases the boot, so then you can get into it from the inside. So, parcel shelf was in the boot, so 
that's a bit of a result. But not only that, it's got the insert and a few of the tools on bits and pieces. So that's another bonus. I've just put the uh, tire pump back in here because that was in the car. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's looking really, really tidy. And on this side, but the rear, sorry about that camera died. So um, hopefully I can kind of stitch this in from where I just cut off. Yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so basically the mats in the rear, even though they were in the wrong footwells, are like immaculately clean, like almost like there's been no one sat in the back. And with the exception of a bit of water on the back there, the leather seats look fairly good in the back as well. Um, with regards to the front, yeah, I know the leather seats need a good shampoo and all the plastics need wiping down, but that's just with a hoover, that's come up really nice. So um, that's where the book pack goes. So I'll close that off. Uh, what have we got? Ooh, free stuff. Um, some sunglasses and there's a little cubby hole just down here and there's some money in that. So I'm already turning a profit. Ah, right, okay. So basically in that door was, get it out, this and those glasses so if you used to own this car and you want your glasses back I'll hold on to this for like I don't know two or three weeks just in case but if you want your sunglasses back and I'm guessing they might be even prescription ones because I think Osiris are prescription I will hold on to those just drop me a, a message in the description so yeah so look, literally that's just a quick hoover now let's crack on and get that window done um, because I don't want it left open. Actually, wait a minute, what's that? Tell me that's broke. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Fix that. Um, now let's get that window replaced so that we can actually lock the car when the keys are done and seal it all up. Right, so before we take the door card off, there's just two things you need to do. So you've got a chrome cover that kind of sits over here. And if you just lever it, with a trim removal tool from that point of view that will then pop out and the other two clips they come out relatively easy one at the top one at the bottom um, and then you've got this little trim here that just covers up these two now on some of the Fiat 500s when I've looked online there's also supposed to be something down here but there is nothing so I'm going to take the assumption that if I undo this um, allen bolt in here and these two that I can then just pop the rest of the door off so cut back in a second and hope that works okay so those three allen bolts are all out they're all identical so it doesn't matter if you get them mixed up and then I've just used a set of these which basically you put between the panel push and it, it separates it out um, this is my trim removal kit uh, for years and it's been really really good so I'll link one of those in the description in case you look and then I just put it in down here Try and always find out where the first couple of fixings are like that just kind of prise it a little bit it's always better if you can kind of pry it where the fixing actually is i'm not really focus on it but yeah that came off and then you can see up there look it's all just clipped in so that, that's that one off and then on the back of the door there i'm guessing there's going to be an electrical connector for that and there'll also be uh, a wire running across which is for the uh, door handle so we need to just connect those as well but i can't hold the camera and do that at the same time so we'll cut back in a sec yeah so as I thought you've got that there which basically locates that pin down into there then this bit swings around and clips so the bar goes through there and holds it in place and then here you've just got a little clip pull that down and that black bit comes out there so that black bit there and then you've just got one electrical connector which connects in onto there so now we're going to have to unfortunately kind of very carefully oh that's going to be really well glued i'm going to try and get all the glass out of here but i really didn't oh, actually look then that might be able to carefully take it from around there to get access in there i can imagine you can see whether you can there's, yeah there's glass in the bottom there and then we've got to get the new window fitted the other thing with the door just so you're aware when you've got all the clips out from all around the side you need to pull it out and then lift it upwards to get it to lift out of this groove here so um, you see those little slots there they all kind of connect into it right let's uh let's sort out the glass that's in there next OK, 
Okay, so good news, we now have two keys. I don't know why I'm waving this in your face. Um, so basically, yeah, we've got two keys now, which is great because I needed to lower the window down. So I've taken off the foam, peeled it back as tidily as I possibly can. We're gonna have to put some tape over here when we fold it back. And then what I've done is I've gone right down through here and tried to get out as much of the glass as I can. And the best way I found to do it was to actually stick the hoover down in that corner while it's switched on and then shake the door. Now I can't hear any more glass rattling, so that's a good sign. And then the only thing I have left to, I've also done is I've taken off this inner trim bit here on the window, um, lowered the mechanism down here so that we can see, and there's like a little clip so it almost like clips in and then I'm just checking that there's no glass and what oh there you go there's another bit just dropped out so I'm just trying to make sure that this is as clear as possible of any glass and then what I've also done this is a good top tip is to basically take a trim tool like this put it into the groove where the window goes and just run it all the way along and I also found that some glass had basically got stuck down here because you don't want anything in that track when you put the new window in because one, you could damage the new window and worst case, you could, if it's too much pressure on a corner, you could cause it to smash. So what I'm gonna do now, lower the new window into place, clip it into that section there. And then on this side here, just up here, there's actually a groove that stops the window from twisting. And on the edge of the glass, the black trim bit was still in there. So I've now taken that out and that's all clear as well. So let's get the window in and we'll cut back. And just like that, glass is in. Yeah, I know I should have cleaned that bit off first. I'll have to see if I can just get a cloth and get rid of that. So basically the way I found to do it, bringing the glass in from the outside. So from the outside first, turn it at an angle, slide it down as far as it goes, swing it round. Then you drop the mechanism all the way down to the very bottom, which allows this little plastic clip in here to just drop below the runner and then clip into place and now uh, it goes up and down brilliant so just need to get all these trims back into place and then we can go with the reassembly of the door and the door card sorry and then that's this watertight which means then i can go shopping with the wife and she won't moan at me for spending all day playing with the car all right cut back in a bit all right george do you want to push the button push yeah. that push that one there yeah just try not to stand on everything in the car and push it up again okay. do you think that works okay yeah, yeah? All fixed? Yeah. What do we say? Take me daddy. High five, don't we? Yeah. Right, okay. So, yeah. thanks to my little assistant, who's basically now undoing all the cleaning I did earlier in the car. Um, windows all working. This is all buttoned back up. So literally just got the trims to reinstall, which again, are really simple. So that goes on there. That goes on there. And there's the other bit there. And that just literally locks down into there. That works. That works, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, what should we do next? I don't know. Alright, okay. Neither do I. Yeah. We should probably try. Should we try starting it? Should we see if it starts now we've got keys? Yes. Yeah? Do you think it will start? Yeah. Alright, okay. Have you put anything in gear? No? You think it's going to work? Yeah? Okay. So we've got 45,000 on the clock. No error lights apart from fuel. Let's go for it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, George? Good. Really good? Right, so, that sounds really good. Really good. Mom, you hear that? It's the car, it's the car. A strange rock. So there is a strange sound from underneath. So, it sounds like 
like a could just be an exhaust bracket that needs sorting out but yeah I think that's enough for today's episode so we've done the window um, wing mirror will be done in the next episode I'm gonna go for a walk with the kids now and uh, let them go on their bikes so hope you've enjoyed watching um, it's gonna take me a little while to get back into the swing of things doing the videos but if you did like it please hit the thumbs up uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you could share this if you like the video content um, on your social medias we've also got an instagram which i'll put in the description and i'll catch you in the next one thanks very much for watching bye bye what did you say thank what say it louder thanks for watching say bye How does it work? Yeah. You just push it really hard. Do you like the car, George? Yeah. Can you do it again? Just push that really hard there. Just push where it's that little symbol. Can I try the horn? That's enough, George. He can't do it, it's too stiff. Daddy, I want to try.